Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the local agents video where now we'll use the Llama 3.18 billion parameter model instead of the Llama 3.2 and hopefully see better results. Uh, let's dive straight into it. The code is under the file data repo under cookbook uh, playground and uh, with the readme you'll find all the instructions right here. And the code for this application is under Olama agents. Fork and clone the repo and open, a, open it up in, the, in your favorite uh, code editor. It's under cookbooks, playground, and the readme file. Uh, and first we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the 3.1 billion parameter model, open up your terminal in a separate tab, pull the model, I've just pulled it, it's about four gigs, so uh, give it a bit of time. Uh, then install the libraries, which we're going to skip. We're gonna skip the file auth step as well. Uh, and straight away open, uh, run the Olama agents file. Uh, this time we're gonna use the Llama 3.1, eight billion parameter model. I've also removed one of the instructions because we don't need it with this model. Hopefully we'll see better results. Uh, let's uh, let's run it up. And by the way, I haven't run any tests with this yet. This is not pre-planned. We're gonna do our 10 questions, see how it is. Completely raw, unedited. And I just wanna get in the habit of talking about things as they are, right? So, okay, so let's, so this is the web agent. It's got DuckDuckGo as a toolkit couple of instructions, uh, it sends messages back to it, it's got markdown instructions, and we give it the current date and time. Uh, we also add the name to the instructions just to help the model respond better. And then we have a financial agent with Yahoo Finance as a toolkit and a YouTube agent with YouTube tools as a toolkit. Uh, let's get into it. So what, first we'll ask what's your special skill. Hopefully it gives the right answer. Three billion parameter model uh, just runs a tool. So this one also ran a tool. Okay. Not what I'm looking for, but that's okay. Tell me about yourself. It's going into some sort of chain of thought, maybe because we've asked if you need to search the web, break down the user's request. So again, when you ask conversational questions, not really the best, maybe we need to prompt the agents better, but let's ask, um, tell me about the US elections and let's see what it does okay it's breaking everything down doing three queries i think the 70 billion parameter of the four or five billion would actually work really really well i'm excited to try out the new um nvidia model as well okay not bad uh, let's go to the finance agent and we'll ask compare tesla to nvidia for me I just want to see what happens. Okay, it ran it already. I thought, let me know if you'd like to proceed, but then it ran, gave, uh, ran the right tool calls, uh, rendered it in a nice markdown table, which is comes on the agent UI looking very beautiful. Let's see what a, um, by the way, I want to see so you can all, uh, go to our demo agents and over there, let's see what our financial agents, uh, which is using GPT-4O oh, does. That is a good answer. That's a very good answer. And our demo agents, they have this additional instruction to be concise, like not like uh, yap a lot. So that's why it's giving to the point answers. Okay, coming back to the 7777. All right, final, the YouTube one. Let's give it Mervyn's uh, latest video, which I'm yet to watch. I'm such a big fan of Mervyn. It's going through things. Really, I think this needs to be prompted better. So if anyone's watching this video, uh, you get these agents to work better, send a PR. There's another thing which I want to do is I want to turn, I want to stop using the native Olama tool calling and go back to the XML tags, which we have with Fire Data Assistant. So over there we have a separate like LLM where we put them, put the tool calls in XML tags and then we run it. Um, and I think that's uh, that's where we want to get with this. By the way, I know this shows Llama 3.2. This is, this is just an error on our side. Uh, so that's, it really is Llama 3.1. I've got to fix this piece. Okay, I'm gonna ask it ask a question again. Summarize for me, break it down into 
section and provide a conclusion. Maybe we could uh, open up this input, like, you know, go vertically as well. Okay. Let's see what's happening behind the scenes with this. Random function, not bad. You see, it calls these uh, random functions uh, null null. Again. Not bad at all. Listen, instead of using like a completely autonomous agent like we are trying to build here, if we took the captions, then gave it to the model, told it to summarize, like we used to do previously with a lot of our demos where we built deterministic workflows, where we got the video first, then kind of asked the model to generate sections of it, then a full summary, I think this would work pretty well. Um, and again, there's an 8 billion parameter model, so let's not uh, be too hard on it. Okay, get me stock prices for NVIDIA, Meta, and Tesla. Three good tool calls. Let's see what happens. Easy tool calls, one round. Um, okay, that's actually nice. Come on, I, I know it's not like the toughest question we posed to it, but it gave a nicely formatted markdown answer. Things look bright in a year or two with this thing. All right. Um, <coughs> excuse me, folks. I'm uh, running a bit of a cold, so voice is not perfect now nah, i don't think i'd uh, really want to use this model with anything but i also feel that someone could do a better job at prompting them i've uh, we've been very lenient with our prompting on this because I'm looking at it like, you know, if I um, if I just went to a demo agents, which is GPT-4 Turbo, and I asked, uh, tell me about the US elections, let's see what kind of results that agent gives. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. All right, anyway, folks, this was the uh, 8 billion parameter model and hope you enjoyed the video if you have any feedback please do let me know if you can improve the agents by prompting them better please submit a pr as well i'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts have a good weekend bye